Hello everybody, my name is Carlo from Terragon.de and in this tutorial we want to install a PHP extension for TYPO3 um, which allows us to execute any PHP script inside our TYPO3 CMS and um, at this point I have to say that this is extension is um, a security risk if you have uh, many people editing your page but for testing environment it is okay so we will go into our admin panel we want to log in into typo 3 and um, I have downloaded um, this extension here it was a few years or a few months ago it was on the typo 3 repository but because of the security issues it has been removed so um, the ph page page php content um, is exactly the script we need maybe i will give the link in the video description here okay so the next thing we want to do is have a look at our typo 3 um, button bar at the left and before we start going into our page structure that comes with the typo 3 uh, default page you can see all the menu items here we want to look for the extension manager in the extension manager we will see which extensions are already um, loaded into our typo 3 system so we have many plugins and extensions already installed but now we want to import a new extension so we go to import extensions and we can um, look up an extension in the typos re repository but our extension is not available there so we want to upload the extension file directly it is a t3x uh, file so we want to choose our extension that is this one so we choose this extension here upload um, location upload to our typo3 conf slash extensions folder and we don't want to override any exen ex ex existing extension but I have never installed this before so it's not necessary so I click upload the extension has been imported into the typo3 system but it's not activated yet so we have to uh, install the extension that means activate the extension and he will tell us that he needs to add a new table to our MySQL database that um, is called 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 TX page PHP content PHP code so if we want to edit it later we know the name and we have to clear the caches after installing that is okay so we want to make the updates perfect he tells us the extension has been installed in version uh, 4.5 at this in this example but it should work uh, with other versions too um, and now we can look in our page structure here and we want to see our welcome page and I want to show the op the welcome page okay pop-up we have to allow pop-ups for the local host so click again show and we see this is our starting page where we want to add our first PHP script and wait a second 
So we go back to our backend and here we go to the welcome page and create a new item into our normal um, part of our page but um, what this means we will see later. So I just click here for the new create a new item, create a new content element and I think yes there is no the PHP is not available here so we just take a regular text element first and after that we have to change it here the type of the plugin we have to uh, change manually into a PHP script. This will affect the other parts that we have entered here but we don't have any entries here so it will have no effect. We can change by clicking OK. So uh, we have the PHP script and we can type a PHP script now that is normally started like this and that like this. So just uh, if you don't know of anything about PHP just type this and type echo hello world and we can now save and close the doc save and close the document or we can click save and view page so he will open our front page into a new tab and we see here okay our PHP script works and he will output hello world so we have just created our first PHP uh, script uh, into the typo 3 content management system and what will be possible with this extension we will see in the coming parts of our tutorials. So, have fun and see you later.